everyone. I'm Food for Dogs and today I want to do a quick PS Vita unboxing of a limited edition that I received recently. I ordered it way back in July 2019 and it's taken this long to finally get to me. It's the Vasara collection and it is um, produced by Strictly Limited Games, a small outfit specializing in uh, bringing unusual games uh, into physical format. This was one of the last uh, Vita games that I'm aware of that will get a limited edition treatment. Uh, so I was keen on getting it. Uh, despite the fact that it's not my usual type of game. Um, I believe it is a classic game based on a Japanese arcade game series um, brought back to life for various platforms, PS4, a Switch, and luckily also for the Vita. Um, now, as I mentioned, I ordered it back in uh, 2019, but there were various unfortunate delays. I cannot remember the reasons. Um, I wasn't too worried. Um, I knew the company. I knew they were reliable. So it was just a matter of waiting, really. I think they had several of their uh, games stuck in a waiting uh, curve. Um, Yes, so um, it took nine months, but uh, finally it's it's got here, and um, let's have a look, because Strictly Limited Games do make very nice limited editions, and you will see that I have another one of theirs called Sayonara Umihara Kawase. Um, I got that a while ago, and... That's, that's a nice one, a nice game too. Um, the only thing is, you see, everything rattles around loose inside. Um, and I get the same feeling from this one. Uh, I don't know why the Japanese always do everything with really neat cardboard um, dividers so, so nothing can move about inside the box. But... Uh, Western uh, producers seem to more often just throw everything into the box. Anyway, the um, Vasara collection came with these um, two cards and one of them had a message on the back, which I thought was really nice. And it says, sometimes things go different than expected. We are truly sorry for having kept you waiting for so long with love and gratitude and the signatures to our dearest customer. And that's a nice note. And uh, as a thank you for waiting so long, uh, they made an additional um, artwork piece here, which they included um, with the collection. Um, so a nice gesture. Um, so let's see if it was worth a long wait. And my notes tell me that um, there were only... 800 copies made worldwide for this limited edition and the Vita standard edition separately had another 1200 copies so you could say there was a total of 2000 copies made of the physical Vita version okay so um let me see if I can get inside the box and here we are, a bit of pushing and pulling, and I finally got the very tight slip case off. And we had that before with that one as well. It's a sort of side opening flap. They seem to like doing it that way. And that's the box. And as I thought, items are loose inside the um, original soundtrack and I will uh, just open that up and uh, put it on uh, my player 
so we can listen a bit to the music. So here we have the soundtrack. I just uh, put it on in the background, so I hope you can hear it. Um, it's not a very long one. Very nice cover design. Um, and let's have a look what else we have here. We have what looks like an art book, and you guys know by now how keen I am on those. And here, of course, the most important thing, the Vita game itself. And I'll just um, turn that over. And I've got a few notes about uh, the game itself because I'm, I'm actually not very familiar with it. Um, the description is set at the dawn of an alternate universe, 17th century Japan. The brutal warlord Tokugawa is planning to take over the rule as shogun. Choose one of several protagonists all with their own special abilities as you battle your way through branching paths and multiple endings. And the PlayStation 4 and Switch versions have a few extra features added in, uh, like a timeless mode and um, a few other bits and pieces that the Vita version does not have. However, I noticed from the overall features that um, the game, the Vita game, which uh, contains Vasara 1 and Vasara 2, um, has a Tate mode, a vertical mode. And that is, of course, something that we can do with the Vita. We can turn it that way, vertical, and play. Um, uh, and, and, and that could be a lot of fun, so um, so that's nice. So uh, let's have a look at the art book. I like the way the box is designed. That is, that, that is pretty cool. And, and this is the back of the box. And the spine. Let's have a look at the art book. Here are the um, characters. And let's see. Yes, they're all uh, described, which I always love having a bit of background information text with my character portraits. I always think that's, that's just really nice. And portraits, profiles. And here's some screenshots from the game itself. So although it is not my usual type of game, I do look forward to playing it. Especially the historical Japan setting is uh, really of interest to me as, as something I, I know I will enjoy. And here you see the name of the, um, of the developer and original publisher, Cubite Interactive, and Strictly Limited, who made this a particular physical limited edition. And finally, there is a set of stickers, and what is this? Oh! Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. A large poster. 
very striking. A set of stickers. They're always nice. So there you have it, the Vasara Collection, limited edition, published by Strictly Limited Games. Finally, it arrived. I am very pleased with it. I'm happy they managed to complete it. And I hope you found this enjoyable. Let me know in the comments below if you have played Vasara and what your impressions are. Um, I'm completely new to the game. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe, keep well. I'm Food for Dogs. Bye bye.